Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's me again Chelsea and today I am starting a new weekly reading vlog. I feel very warm. I don't know if it's that warm here in the UK. It's not as warm as it has been but you know when you just kind of feel like you're overheating. Apparently it's 22 degrees which is nothing to a lot of people but to me I feel like I'm overheating a little bit. Um, so welcome back, it is my second TBR quest vlog. It is our first full week of August. We have two more full weeks after this one and then an almost full week where we finish on, oops, finish on a Saturday. So, reading wise, I'm currently reading The First Binding, which I want to listen to more of on my way to and from work. I'm in work two days this week, Tuesday and Thursday. So hopefully I'll be able to get that smashed out and then by the weekend I will be on to book two. I've also started reading Butter physically I am now 66 pages in, I'm almost on chapter 3, and I'm enjoying this, it's just not what I want to read right now, so I think I want to put this down. I want to make sure that this month I'm reading books as I'm enjoying them, kind of falling into that mood reader-esque way of life, and not overly forcing myself to read things because it's, it's not going to make me happy. And I kind of want to be reading my Kindle. <laughs> I know, I know, I should really be picking up Legacy of Steel right now. I really should. But I also know that Lisa is currently... Oh gosh, there's something in this. Uh, I also know Lisa is currently working her way through the first binding and the sequel first. So I think we're going to wait for this. I don't know. I don't want to read physically right now. Does anyone else get like that? You just want to like read off your Kindle. And it's very rare that I'm like this, but because I really enjoyed my last Biffbo book, I was like, I really want to read, I really want to read something on my Kindle. So I'm not quite sure what I'm feeling. I kind of want something easy. I do have a indie book that I've very kindly been sent that I need to read, and that is called Witch Hazel. Let me get that up so we can go through the blurb together because then that might help me make a decision. So inspired by The Witcher, Blade Runner and Bloodborne, Witch Hazel begins the episodic story of Caleb Slow, a pilgrim from the Temple of the Moon. As he traverses a life in a life of violence, demons and corruption, your evil, it's in your blood, it's festering in your brain, it lingers wherever you go and rots whatever, wherever you stay. I've got to put you down, Silas, you know that. I just wish you made it easier for yourself. Easier, the necromancer screamed. Nothing about this is easy. Caleb Slow is on a religious pilgrimage, lacking clear direction and beyond the destruction of foul things that stalk the night, he has settled into an uncomfortable rhythm of hunting and slaying, living a life somewhere between private investigator and highway ranger. Author T.C. Roberts Finn lays out an introduction to a world beset by corruption and rot. An evocation of life on the frontier and the justice of vigilantes, it is at once the tale of destruction, passions and vengeance, but is his purpose truly divine, or will his pilgrimage lead him down an endless road of nightmares and bloodlust? So it's only got one rating actually, which is five stars, and uh, it's, a, it's a pretty rave review, gotta be honest. This book has apparently got 409 pages, so... Do we want to read that? I'm in a very weird space at the minute, reading wise, because I don't know. Um, or do I want to read something on Kindle Unlimited because that runs out this year, this year, this month. I've cancelled my Kindle Unlimited because I don't use it enough, so part of me really <sighs> kind of wants to read a book that I don't think I will enjoy but I've seen so much hype for it and it's on KU and it's When the Moon Hatched by Sarah A. Parker. I've seen so much about this book recently. I kind of want to read that <laughs> but I also don't. Oh I just opened something. I didn't mean to open that. So I don't know. It's going to be a toss up between those two I think. I can't what is wrong with you? Honestly, sometimes my Kindle just does my head in, but I love it. So yeah, I think maybe between those two, how many pages is 
the other one. Let's have a look. I think that's gonna kind of decide it a little bit for me. Page count. How long do I have to be invested? I'm pretty sure this book is quite chunky as well. I do have other books on my Kindle that I need to finish, but because this month I can't include any books that I've already started in my TBR quest, TBR, um, I kind of want to try and hit all five prompts for these books now, especially now that we're into the full weeks, and then I want to go back and maybe try and finish some other things off as well, so we, we're slowly like breaking down the whole currently reading list. 566 pages, but is this just going to be like, you know, like, what is it that other people call it? Like popcorn reads? Is this going to be like that? I don't even know what this book is about. I've just seen so much about it. Let's let's have a look. Let's have a look. <clears throat> what does it say? Magic Dragons Romance. The fancy phenomenon of the year. With dragons, doomed lovers and magic. This will be huge. Is apparently a quote. Um, he's fire and brim brimstone. I'm shattered ice. I'll gladly burn beneath him until the world comes crumbling down. Oh, maybe this isn't for me. <laughs> As an assassin for the rebellion, Rave's job is to complete orders and never get caught. When a rival bounty hunter shatters her world, Rave finds herself captured by the Guild of Nobles, a, pow a group of powerful fae. Crushed by the loss of his great love, dragon rider Cain Vega took the head of a king and donned his melted crown. Now on a tireless quest to quell the ever-ebbing ache in his chest, a clue lures him into the capital's high-security prison, where he stumbles upon the imprisoned rave. Together, they seek truths that threaten to unravel everything they know about their world and each other. Okay. Um, obviously, that's romance. Do we make this a week of reading books? I don't think I'm going to lie. Is that really gonna screw me over? Um, maybe more like reading books that are outside of my comfort zone would be the better terminology because obviously we've already started butter and this is so far of my comfort zone, it's ridiculous. Um, but I kind of want to, like I said, read on my Kindle. So let's be chaotic and start something else. And the thing we're gonna start, I, I, th I think we're gonna go for the candy, the popcorn read when the moon hatched apparently also i know that it's gonna come up in the end of year goodreads challenge like this book has i've heard so much about this book it's gonna come up i kind of want to be on top of some of these hyped books before goodreads so i have like a better rounded view or do i wait to read all these things until next year oh i don't oh i don't do not know. Do not know. This is literally ten minutes of it, ten minutes of me being indecisive. <sighs> not ideal for me. Not ideal at all. Hmm. I'm sorry you have to watch this. I don't know what I want to do. Or do I read Blood Over Brighthaven? That also sounds very good. I've got an arc of this. It's like a... a thing. It's like a thing. It's... Actually, do you know what we're gonna read? I know what we're gonna read. I know what we're gonna read. I am going to read... The Haley Traveller. Because there is a book tour for this coming up for Indie Book Tours. I believe it's next week. Or the week after and i'm on it i need to read it and it can count for a sci-fi book and i don't actually think it's 377 pages okay decided we're gonna go downstairs and read a sci-fi and then if i decide to change my mind again and try and read the other book i will let you know tomorrow when i have just read something I'll talk to you tomorrow. Hopefully I'm a bit more decisive. See you then. Hello everyone and happy Thursday. I'm working from home again today, which was not the original plan. I was meant to be in the office. Also, you can see my, my adorable collection is growing. He, this is my newest one. He is called Nugget. He is a party dinosaur. Anyways, I'm um, just getting distracted by my collection of 
plushies behind me um yeah i wasn't meant to be working from home today last night took a an interesting turn um which means that I need to get my butt in gear in order to make sure I can edit a video that's meant to be going up today, which was my spiff bow video, because I didn't manage to sort it out yesterday. But I have reading updates. I was actually reading um, while we were busy. Um, <clears throat> but I have now got seven hours and eight minutes left of the first binding it's now really kicked off i'm actually really enjoying it i did find the start of this book really slow which i'll probably just keep saying because there is so much description in this book i'm thinking four stars currently obviously i've still got seven hours to go but it's not a five for me i think that's just because the beginning dragged but unless something really good happens in the next seven hours which it could um this is currently sitting at a four star and then i have also been reading um <laughs> the popcorn book so last time i spoke to you i couldn't decide what i wanted to read i'm pretty sure it's the last time i spoke to you because i didn't speak to you on tuesday because i came home with a stinking headache and i didn't speak to you on yesterday wednesday because i didn't have the ability to um so i have been reading when the moon hatched by sarah a parker and i can't remember where i'm at why is this not telling me usually it tells you i don't know where oh i think i'm i am there i'm on page 68 um which is really not that far in bearing in mind this is apparently a 500 566 page book um i did have a look at some of the reviews before i started this and there is one that really made me chuckle which is a one star review where it basically compares this to throne of glass selena sardothian as the main character because our main character in this book is very much um she's part of a rebellion but she is shackled to it i think the way that's done is pretty cool um but she yeah shackled to it she wants to do more for the people she only she kills people who are bad like you know people who abuse women and children and kill other people and stuff and but i feel like that's a, quite a common trope within certain fantasy and i know this is probably going to become like a fantasy romance i've heard mixed reviews about it currently it's just one of those like really easy books that i can just pick up and continue i'm not sure if i'm going to continue continuing it right now um because i have got a couple of tours that i need to read up for for indie book tours and because I haven't been as productive with the books that I've started this month, I am yet to actually put anything on my TBR quest completed sheet, which I need to do. But I have a plan for that because I have. So I think the change of pace that we're going to do is I... Oh, that's not right. I don't want that book. Um, I'm going to read my arc of New York Minute by Stephen Orion. My copy comes in at 145 pages, so this will fit for my under 200 page book, um, for short book, for TBR Quest. Get that checked off maybe this evening, then we'll move on to something else. I don't know what. Um, but yeah, I need to do that because there is a live show tomorrow. This will have already gone up, but the first scoreboard is happening tomorrow and I want to win. <laughs> I want us to win. Maybe if um, we're not first, that'll be like a kick to be like, you need to work harder. And I think I do. But I also had something drop through my door today and I'm not too sure what this is. I think I'm waiting on a couple of things, but like I said, I don't know what this is. So we're gonna open this together and we're gonna find out what it is because I don't know. <laughs> Let's see, I love the excitement. Right, I don't want to peek because like I said, it's a surprise. So, but I will say, these boxes don't... They don't rip the way you think they will. They're not, like, they're not the best. Right, what have we got? Come on, open up. Sh 
show me your secrets. Uh, uh, uh. Oh yes. It's my copy of the ha the Halley Traveller by Mike Molman. This is actually one of the books I need to read for indie book tours. This tour takes place next week. I am right at the end, but now I have my physical copy so I can take a really nice photo with it. Well, a really nice photo for me. Um, thank you so much, Mike, for working with us for a start, but also for sending me a physical copy so I can review it. I'm so excited to be part of this tour. And yeah, look at this cover. Isn't it so nice? There is another series that um, Mike also writes, which is the first book is Becoming a Druid, I'm pretty sure, um, which I have the audiobook for, which I'm pretty sure he very kindly gave me, but I'm, I'm excited that this has dropped through my door. So excited. So I will be probably picking this up next then, I suppose, uh, after I do my New York Minute. This can be my sci-fi book. And yeah, I'm excited. So I'm going to leave this here and I will come and talk to you when I have a reading update. I'll see you then. Hello everyone and happy Friday. It is officially the weekend and it is almost quarter past ten at night and I am still awake. I am still awake because it is the first school board of TBR quest this evening at 11 my time. So I've had a nap, I've had some pizza. I have my fake Stanley of squash. I'm ready for bed, <laughs> really. Mm. And it's, I think it's like six o'clock for everyone else who is joining. So me, Andy, Madison and JR. I actually finished a book today. So I actually have contributed to the TBR Quest scoreboard for my team Chaotic Crusaders. And I finished Demon by Rob J. Hayes. I also picked this up because... I am feeling massive FOMO from Worldcon and everyone that I kind of want to meet and I've chatted to is at Worldcon and I'm so gutted that I couldn't go this year but I was being responsible as just despite the fact I buy books I am responsible with my money um and due to going to that planned later this year and it's Jack's 30th I didn't have the spare funds to go unfortunately which sucks because the next one is in seattle uh which i'm all for you know but it's it's a bit of a way it's a bit of a way actually um and i'm already looking at another america trip next year i don't know if it's going to happen i really want it to make it out of the group chat um but i just kind of need to see where i am because next year i would like to go on a hot holiday and then the other plan is halloween related so that would be pretty cool but i need to have money and my friend who's buying a flat needs to have money so there's a lot as well anyways because everyone I know is at worldcon and i wanted something shorter I thought, why not cross off the prompt, any book under 200 pages, this copy is 185. This is the first book in the Archive of the God Eater. Now Rob, if you did not know, has released the first three books in the three trilogies within this world. Yes, he's bonkers, I, d I don't know why. But I'm not mad at him either. The recommended reading order that I have received from Muir, who is God of Haze, because he just is um he stated to go demon which is this one deathless then herald so herald is the biggest book you can just about see it actually on my shelf here um so that's the main series which is present day then you've got deathless which is a thousand years before herald and god eater which is three thousand years so i've read this one um i gave it four stars it is quite dark <laughs> um in a lot of places. I did really enjoy it though. I will say one of the things that I like about Rob's writing is that he just kind of gets to the point. I don't know why I'm in and out of focus so much. That's not good is it? Let's see if we move close up. Maybe it's because of the light. I don't know. So I've got a light set up so I can actually be seen on the live show. Um, but I yeah 
Rob's writing straight to the point. I really like that. If you don't like the th the flowery prose, classic epic fantasy, dark grim dark fantasy writing, Rob is for you. He's an amazing indie author. Released these three. Me and Lisa read the first three books in another one of his series earlier in the year which was really really good we've done live shows and all sorts and we chatted to rob which was really nice but yeah i thought i would cross a prompt off because none of the other books that i'm reading seem to be making i don't seem to be doing anything in them like i feel like i'm reading but i'm making no progress so i thought let's see if i can finish a book in a day and i can so i put this one onto the spreadsheet now i wanted to but i also had to prioritize a nap um i also wanted to read deathless today because this is also under 100 pages but i was going to use uh, under 100 pages under 200 pages this is 183 pages um I was thinking about reading this one today as well but I had to work and I had a nap and I needed some brain rot so I didn't get around to it but I don't know if I am still going to read this now not like ever but right now because I think what I need to well what I need to do let's just be realistic right let's just be realistic I need to finish my read of the first binding so that I can crack on with the second book in R.R. Verdi's series right we have got the live show for that on the 19th I've got one full week until that live show the next book is also chunky I need to do that um I have five hours left of the first binding I'm driving to my dad's tomorrow. I've actually been trying to make it a habit to kind of get things done while listening to an audiobook, not necessarily like putting YouTube on, which has been a bit of a change. Not been doing that an awful lot. It's only just started this week, but I've been doing like some chores and stuff and I actually really enjoyed it. I see now why all the girlies do it <laughs> because you're reading and you're doing chores and the chores feel so much better when you're reading. So I get it. So there's that, five hours of that. I probably will go to bed tomorrow earlier because I'm going to my dad's. It's my younger sister's birthday. Well, it's already happened, but her birthday party's on Sunday. Um, so I will probably go to... I would say, like, we usually go to bed about half nine, ten at his house. And I could take my headphones and I could listen to the first binding if I wanted to um but I'm gonna pot around tomorrow morning get some stuff done and then yeah read it in the car and then hopefully I will have not a lot left of it to go so I can start the next book and then the other priority is it is my stop next I want to say Thursday but I could be wrong or Friday can't remember off the top of my head either way I've got a stop on indie book tours for the Hayley Traveller um which i haven't started yet so i need to start this so i and then this can also count as a prompt in tbr quest this can be my sci-fi book this is chunky though well not not overly chunky but it's obviously 400 439 pages so it's it ain't small um but i have skimmed the first chapter done a bit of a taste test and I do like the sound of it, so I'm looking forward to picking this up. I think it's going to be a good time. So, yeah, those are the things that I need to kind of get done. Um, I don't know if... I've got no idea what I'm going to do with my life. <laughs> as you can probably tell, I have not spoken to anyone all day today. Today, I worked from home, as I always do on Fridays, and... There were two of us working, so me and one of the designers. Everyone else is on holiday or off sick or on some other form of leave. So it was just us two. Um, lovely guy. Just don't have any need to chat with him and he had his own stuff to get on with. I had my own stuff to get on with. And if we are in the office, we would have had a chat, but because we were at home, we didn't. So I haven't spoken to anyone in that regard. And Jack is out at a festival that I usually work with him, but I haven't gone this year because kind of wanted to prioritise family time with my sister because she's she's only little and I don't know how many more like proper kids birthday parties they're gonna have and I like being there um 
being a, I don't know, a, a big sister, I guess. I don't know. Seeing if my stepmom needs help and stuff. And then just answering the question of, and you are, whose child belongs to you? None of them. None of them belong to me. <laughs> I'm related to two of them. <sighs> yeah. Anyways, um so i don't really know what i'm what i'm gonna do i don't think this live show is gonna go on very long i am excited to see who is winning in the first week my team are smashing it they are doing so so well i have got some amazing people on my team that i actually know which is quite nice but there are some amazing conversations happening next week as well is the week that i said i was going to read godfrey's crusade so we'll see about that. But I won't have an audiobook and I do have the audiobook for Godfrey. So maybe we will do that as my audiobook for next week so I can listen to it at work when I'm trying to ignore everyone else. That's a really good plan. Go me. Um, and I'm really, I'm really excited as well because I have been raving about this book to my team. Mark who is the author of Godfrey's has been so so kind and he has given me audio codes to give out to my team um we have discussed about doing a giveaway I just don't know really the the best way to to do that um but I'm loving that people are having the audiobooks I think I've given out like almost 15 codes which is so cool that's just like 15 more people that might not necessarily have picked up this book anytime soon and they might not read it for this readathon they might they might not i don't know but i think it's really exciting and i've already seen a couple of good reviews for it which is so fun and this is the part of the readathon that i really enjoy is like talking to you guys about like what i'm reading and talking to them about about what i'm reading in the discord but also just like seeing everyone else interact is just really lovely because i'm not part of any um big community i don't have like i don't have a patreon i don't take part in other people's patreons not because i don't agree with them or whatever just because purely at the minute i don't have the cash flow for it but I think it's just so nice to have that community of people encouraging each other and talking about the books that they've done. And I really like the the, the fact that every now and again I get little like messages through on the group chat going, oh, I've just like put in my first book. Oh, I've completed it. There are some people on my team, we nickname them the ringers, um, who are known to read well over five books in a month. And we are in our first week, right? This is the first full week of August and they've already smashed either like they've gone above and beyond the five prompts. I've got one person on my team who has completely smashed all 11 prompts because obviously our group book counts as, as the 11th prompt. And now they're just reading more books. Like I've got no idea how these people do it. It's crazy. I wish I could read this much, but... I just don't and at the minute I'm, I'm too easily distracted maybe if I went back to covid times then yeah I was reading that much but well I wasn't because I still wasn't reading 100 books a year but you get the point like I was reading a lot more and I was prioritizing it first thing in the morning and I really miss actually those like mornings during lockdown where me and Jack were on completely different schedules he would stay up until like two three god knows when in the morning gaming with his friends because they were all night owls and I would go to bed at like 11, <clears throat> maybe midnight pushing it, but more so like 10, 11. And then I'd get up the next day at like 9 and I'd read 8, 9, read for a couple of hours. Or do a workout, which I don't do anymore, as you you can't tell because you don't see my full body in this camera. But I can tell. Um, and yeah, COVID, I was, I was the fittest I've ever been because I was prioritising working out and stuff. And I just need to kind of get back to that and... I was, yeah, then reading for a couple of hours and then Jack would game and I would read and it was just, it was, it was a stressful time, but I liked that routine better than the routine I'm currently in. <laughs> but, oh well, that's fine. But yeah, those are the plans that I need to kind of take into the weekend slash next week. I will repeat them on Monday, I'm sure. But yeah, I'm not going to my dad's until like mid afternoon tomorrow purely for the fact that I was like I'm, I'm doing stuff and I am going to be doing stuff just not necessarily like shopping or anything I'm, I'm gonna be emptying the dishwasher putting that stuff away maybe do a bit of cleaning listening to my audiobook or sitting down for a couple of hours and reading a physical book or my Kindle but physically reading um because I've got so much 
so much on my plate and I need to get better at doing stuff. So that's the plan. I've also just thought, I think this might have been the same shirt I was wearing the day before the kickoff. <laughs> oh well. But yeah, that's literally my update for 15 minutes of chatting. I am going to leave this here. I will be back to talk to you tomorrow before I go to my dad's and then hopefully I'll talk to you on Sunday. I don't imagine that it will be out too late on Sunday. It is a children's birthday party. It will start at 2 and finish at 5, let's be completely honest. It's just driving home, which is going to be a pain. Um, but yeah, so we're going to... We're going to see what happens <laughs> and go from there. But yes, I will come back and I will talk to you tomorrow. But I'm so glad that I have actually managed to put, you know, one book onto the list for the chaotic crusaders it might be small but it is mighty and i'm proud of myself so there we go yeah i'm gonna shut up now i will talk to you later okay so it's the same day it is now 10 to 12 my time um and i will say that we've just done the first school board and it was really really good and it was really really fun and we've called out some fun people and some people on my team have already smashed it and like fair play to everyone for doing so so well um we are currently in second madison's team is winning we are second jr is third i have realized that i need to get my skates on and start reading i was like oh maybe i'll just stay up now and read i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna be sensible because i do need to get up tomorrow to do some stuff so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get ready for bed and then I am going to go to sleep, obviously. And then tomorrow we will do some reading and yeah, I will take my Kindle to my dad's, I think, because that'll be easier to take, I think. Not sure, uh, but yeah, so that was my charger falling off the table uh yeah that's it i'm gonna go i'm going to put my pajamas on and watch well, maybe i can listen to some more of my book now actually who knows anyways i will come back and talk to you tomorrow when i'm more awake see you then hello and good morning it is saturday it is almost lunchtime so i'm about to go downstairs and concoct something out of the depths of uh <laughs> my cupboards um i'm just kind of here to check in before i go away um i don't want to drag my camera downstairs oh in and out of focus don't drag my camera down i say drag like it's a massive camera it's really not but i don't want to take my camera downstairs and i don't think i'll come back up i'm slowly working my way down <laughs> downstairs um so i have got four hours and 24 minutes left of the first binding i am really really enjoying his flashbacks i really love seeing where people come from and i feel like that's a lot more interesting to me at the minute um and then we kind of have these bits interspersed into it where we're in present day and he ari he is ari our main character um has got this like task that he needs to do which is fine but i'm like i just want to know how you got through because he's now where i'm at we like there's there's like a school setting and stuff we're in the school setting there's trials there's all this stuff i want to know about that that's the bit i'm interested in i really really enjoy that idea um i think it's also taken me a little while to read this because it doesn't actually count for tbr quest but i know i need to finish it and i know i need to read it because i have got a interview with this lovely author and i am looking forward to that i'm so excited to be taking part and i'm so grateful that lisa wanted me to support her on that as well so i'm so grateful to do that but i just need to read this book <laughs> and but i i finished the live last night and it was what like half 11 i think when we got off um and i i literally went to bed and i was like oh, i'm gonna go to sleep and i was not tired and jr said it he was like now you've had a nap you're gonna stay up for another two hours i was like no i'm tired no no <laughs> I stayed up, well I didn't stay up for another two hours but I think I definitely stayed up for like an hour and I was listening to the first binding while faffing on my phone which was good 
not good because I needed sleep but it was good because I was actually like reading some stuff which was the good part so yeah uh overall I'm enjoying it still feeling very four stars though the world is very in-depth I like the world I'm interested to know more about the world and I want to know more about this magic that he's learning I'm interested to know if the second book is going to have these flashbacks because I don't think in four hours we're going to cover the rest of his life up until the point where he is so I don't know what's next but yeah I um I'm reading I'm taking my Kindle so I can read the Haley with me um or the Halley I keep calling it the Haley it's definitely not it's going to be the Halley Traveller that makes so much more sense um but yeah I'm taking my Kindle so I can read this there the chapters are fairly short so I feel like I could just like whiz like I am so I am such a I'm so much faster when I read when I have short chapters because I'm like oh that wasn't very long let's just read another one let's just read another one let's just read another one whereas when the chapters are massive I'm like I can't cope <laughs> I need breaks which is why I'm glad I'm listening to the first binding but I need to read my e-arc and some of these chapters are like an hour long <laughs> oh so yeah that's that's gonna be fun but I'm enjoying it I'm having a really good time I am really enjoying TBR quest I need to get first binding finished so that I can make Godfrey my next ebook uh not ebook audiobook that's what I need to do so you know there is a plan Godfrey is my next audiobook Hallie I will read this weekend and if it carries on into next weekend I need to switch to physical so I can make my ebook the next our Verdi book I need a, I have a plan I just need to execute the plan you know so that's what I need to do um but yeah this is literally just me checking in to be like yeah I'm alive hi uh I'm going to go and see my father and everyone else later this afternoon I'm getting hungry so I need to I need to go and cook and then yeah I'll be back tomorrow evening probably by the time I get back and I don't expect to see Jack until Monday so it's a good thing that I'm going to my dad's because I didn't speak to anyone yesterday until the live show and I won't speak to anyone today until I get to my dad's I need to talk to people right I'm off I'll see you later have fun bye hello everyone it's wednesday on the next week <laughs> so you know how i was like oh, i'm gonna i'm gonna you know come back and finish this vlog obviously i didn't we now have a two week tbr quest um which is completely fine so i can't remember the last clip that i did um i think it was before i went away to my dad's I think it was when I went away to my dad's before. So that went well, if I didn't update you <laughs> since. Birthday party went well. Ate some party food, love some party food. Um, and then yeah, I was meant to finish this vlog on Monday. Monday was really hot in the UK, so I did not venture upstairs in my house at all. And then I was like, oh, I'll be fine. Um, I will still edit. And it got to the end of the day and I was like, no, I'm I'm not. I'm not editing. I'm not doing that at all. So, oh well, doesn't matter. I then didn't talk to you on Tuesday. Came home from the office yesterday with a banging headache. I also had like some stomach pain on Sunday morning at like 5am. And I'm still kind of dealing with it it's like a lingering after effect which is fun but I have managed to read things I've managed to read one thing finished one thing which doesn't count for TBR quest unfortunately and that is because it was the first binding by R.R. Verdi this did not count because I started it before August it's a big rule you have to start in August I'd started this before because I am taking part in a thing in a interview with R.R. Verdi which I'm very excited about on Lisa's channel on Monday so the day this should actually be going up 
I rated this four stars. I really enjoyed it. This is slow pace. I will say for the first, I don't know how long, um, I was a bit like, am I going to enjoy this? I'm not too sure. And then we got into Ari's backstory and now I love seeing how people become who they have become. I love a bit of context and that was when I really started falling in love with this. There is a lot that goes on. There is so much that happens to this kid throughout this just one book and I'm excited to see where we go in the sequel which I have started. Currently at this point I'm reading the ebook. I'm going to strive to finish the book by Monday but I might not and if I don't I don't. I will finish it next week, hopefully. But if I don't finish it before the interview, as long as I've got like a, ge a general idea, this one, to be fair, is kind of like the main one I wanted to read because I was like, well, I need to have a I need to have a general idea of what this book is actually about, and characters and writing style and stuff. And I feel like I've got that from this book. So from that point of view, I feel like I have I have ticked that off. I have some questions in mind already about setting and character development and that sort of thing which I'm sure everyone has asked him. I really want to try and make this a little bit different but I also um, don't don't know necessarily right now at this moment in time how, how we're going to do that. He is doing a massive tour for this second book which is phenomenal to see. I've seen so many booktubers and like people I know interviewing him and doing lives and stuff which is so so cool to see I love just seeing everyone coming out and supporting this author because the first book is really good like I gave it four stars you should really check it out if you have not already and then the book that I'm currently reading that I'm trying to finish before the next live show the next scoreboard so this video will include both score the first two scoreboards for TBR quest is <coughs> our group prompt uh which i picked i picked a book that i suggested to my team to read and it is godfrey's crusade by mark howard i am on chapter 20 of this so i've got two hours and 17 minutes left it is actually available on spotify if you are a premium member this is not sponsored but if you're like a spotify premium member i believe that you're entitled to like so many hours of audiobook listening time if you are struggling to find something to listen to you could listen to godfrey's crusade it's actually a really good audiobook i said well, i don't know why i sound so surprised um but it's a really good audiobook i'm actually really enjoying it i will say i don't know what i expected going into this i didn't really expect anything if i'm completely honest i have tried multiple times to read this book and i've just never got past the first couple of chapters nothing really to do with the book um or the writing style it's just mainly been me i've been really enjoying recently like high epic fantasy books and this is not i wouldn't class this as like high or epic fantasy i really like the premise of this though we are following godfrey it is like medieval times that's kind of where it's set he's he's a squire at the start and he progresses on to become a knight he goes on crusade funnily enough godfrey's crusade um and but the magical fantastical element in this is that there's like vampires and o and ogres and orcs and cyclops and that sort of thing so that is like normal normal every day for them which is pretty interesting actually and i really enjoy that however the rest of the book is kind of more i would say realistic in the sense that godfrey is a young he is a young man um there is themes of him meeting a maiden and falling in love and trying to you know come to terms with that feeling as though people don't take him seriously because he is quite young and he is not a uh, a duke or a baron in his own right currently because his father is still alive so he is just the, the son of someone but he is embarking on a crusade to save the lands essentially there is betrayal in this i really like the writing style it's not because obviously it's not a big book compared to first binding there's not overly it's not overly um slow and overly descriptive in my opinion which is how i prefer my books if i'm honest i do like the slow of like first binding grace of kings but I have to be in the mood for that and I think all the audiobook for the first binding was better in that regard because it is a slower one so like you can 
it's it seems like the perfect book to like craft to same for this probably actually if i'm honest but i'm i am really really enjoying this and obviously our main character is striving to like make sure that this war high war lord um does not release evil on his lands which is the main thing so i'm hoping to get that finished either today or tomorrow because i want to get that tallied off for the scoreboard and then i've only read two books and i still have four books that i need to read and like four prompts that i need to pick obviously i have already mentioned the halley traveler as a sci-fi book so i'm hoping to kind of get through that as well i have got a post for that going up tomorrow and i'm not going to have finished it by then but i have already started it and read a chunk so i can give the description and stuff and again it is one that i will finish and i will talk about it in my vlog so that is the premise and kind of the um what's it called uh um compromise i'm making with myself because you're probably like charles why do you sign up to all these things if you don't know if you're gonna be able to handle it and the answer to that is I don't realise how close together some things come and also this year my reading has been so spotty it's ridiculous I think this might be my worst reading year since I started tracking my reading in 2021 I feel like I was looking actually back through my core piles from 2021 and I read I can't remember how many books but I had read so many more books each month in that year than i am doing now which is crazy and i was i think i did a lot i did a few more audiobooks probably in 21 because that was the year we moved out of our flat i changed no i didn't change jobs properly until 22 um so i was still working from home a lot i was not commuting so i think i did more physical actually in that year because i it was it was still like lockdown ish times i was going into work very sporadically i didn't go back to my real job full time until i want to say october and then i left my job in the december so yeah crazy times but anyways um yeah so essentially i have godfrey then i have my sci-fi prompt picked out which is the Halley Traveller. Need to read The Doors of Magic, which is the sequel to the first binding. As much as I can. And I need to read Legacy, the next legacy book, because the life for that, we have we have agreed a live date. I don't think I've written it down. But we have agreed a live date, and that's gonna come up fast. Um Actually, when is that live date? Because I am um, starting to panic already and then i've got swift web books to read i have kind of yeah i am i am over i am i'm over what's it called oversubscribed this month 27th of august jesus christ i've got a week and a half and i've got so many other things to read as well cue mental breakdown no it's fine i can do this I can do this right okay I'm gonna go then because I've just realized how much I need to read I also want to put a wash on before Jack comes home so then that can get going uh I also what else do I need to... what else do I want to do I don't know I don't know mm. I think book wise another prompt that i can do is uh out of my usual genre and i might use divine rivals for that which i've just got from my library on audio because that is fantasy romance i'm not really fancy romancey person go me right i'm gonna shut up now i need to get changed i'm not comfy i want to be comfy and i will come back and i will talk to you tomorrow and hopefully tomorrow i will get my botting gear and i will upload a video for you guys to watch so there'll be one before this one fingers crossed we'll see what happens i'll see you then hello
happy Thursday. It is a new day. I'm wearing the same top, but it is, in fact, a new day. I'm working from home today, and I have just finished, well, not just, but I have now rated my team's book for TBR Quest Godfrey's Crusade. I gave it four stars. I, I really enjoyed this. Uh, this isn't the same kind of fantasy that I've been reading recently. I feel like recently I've been reading a lot of, like, higher fantasy so this was this was a pleasant change if i'm honest i did enjoy this i enjoyed watching godfrey kind of grow and kind of come into his own throughout this book the audiobook narration is fantastic as well if you want to check that out definitely check that out um wasn't so fussed on the there's like a romantic subplot but as i always say because it was a subplot i didn't mind it um but i wasn't overly invested or uninvested which is it was neutral for me in that front but I I did enjoy watching Godfrey and just him as a person developing throughout this book it is more focused on that um obviously he does go on for he does go on a crusade and it ties up nicely at the end although there is intrigue as to what's going to come next i do have the next book on my shelf i don't know if i'll be able to fit it into my tbr for this month but that's something i could do if i if i can fit it in but i'm not sure if i can um and i also have book mail not too sure what this book mail is so we're going to open it together i will say i wish i could show you the writing on the front but it would show off my address uh is this what i oh <gasps> it's my ej's writing now that i know who sent it your writing dude is so neat <laughs> i need writing like this this is uh the knife of sorrows ej double this is one of the i think this is like is this 2.5 in this series yes so we have got oh and he's written in it thank you so much um so he was doing a sale on his instagram for signed copies of this book so i thought i might as well grab one now i need to add it to my collection i am actually missing the second book um which i need to buy <laughs> but uh yeah this is 2.5 i love the covers that ej gets done like they are so cool i have done an interview with him before in the past he's a lovely human being and his books are so well written honestly they're so well written i need to dive back into them i haven't finished book two yet i want to reread book one because it's been so long since i say so long i think it has been actually probably been at least a year i think we did the, did we do the read along last year i can't remember um but we did a read along for the first two books and then he released crown of omens which I've read and I really enjoyed. And then, yes, this is his newest release in the Blood Saga series. So I'm very, I'm very excited. He has also got his other series, The Realm of the Prophets. I've read The Crescent Moon. I have not read Jade Sun. And I still have not finished Gold Lock and Key, uh, which is a fairy tale retelling. He is writing so much. He reminds me a lot of Rob J. Hayes in the sense that he has got so many projects like floating around that he just seems to be churning out these books like i've got got no idea how he does it and again the writing's fantastic so i'm so glad that i've got this to put this on my shelf and like i said i need to pick up actually the um the second book but yeah there you go there is a quick update for today the live show is later today so i'm hoping that i'll come back on after that and give you an update as to what the scoreboard is i do not know I now need to actually put that into the spreadsheet so that I can claim some points for my team, which I'm excited for. Um, and I'm really proud of what we're doing. And actually, I did calculate our points yesterday, I think. And if my calculations are correct, I think we're doing pretty well. We, The team to beat is Madison's at the minute. We are currently second out of three teams. Madison's is the team to beat so I need to kind of get get in gear on that and help my team so I need to crack on with the Haley Traveller so I can read that for my sci-fi book 
Um, I think I'm going to give it a break on audiobooks, possibly for the rest of this week. I do have, I need to return the battle drum or renew it. I don't think I'm going to have a chance to read it, to be honest. I did get it from my library. I think I'm just going to return that. It's an audiobook. Um, I think I'm going to return that for now and then just concentrate on Divine Rivals. And then I, that expires in 19 days, so I can wait until next week when I go back into the office to read that so that's that's the plan <laughs> whether whether that goes to plan i'm i'm not i'm not too sure but that's that's currently the plan that's what we're gonna do and yeah i need to crack on and do that also take a nice photo for Haley so i can post that today but yeah leave this here i'll come back and talk to you later um and hopefully i will maybe have a reading update for before the live show i don't i don't foresee me finishing anything before the live show but if i can get further in Haley, hallie whatever if i can get further in hallie then that will be really good for me so that's the plan i'll see you later Hello everyone and happy Friday! I'm not sure how much of this vlog has actually just taken place in this chair and I think it's probably most of it. But hello, happy Friday! I've literally just shut my computer, I'm so happy. It's now the weekend. Um, Sorry, I've just noticed that... Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Anyways, um, I have caught up on my journaling today so that's all up to date and i am cracking on with the halley traveler by mike molman i've already done my instagram post which is always linked down below if you want to check out my instagram um where i just posted the blurb wow that car was unnecessarily loud i am at past the 200 page point so i'm almost halfway through this book this is going to count as my sci-fi prompt for tbr quest and i am I'm enjoying it. I am enjoying it. It's a nice approachable sci-fi. It's really easy to read. I will say our main character crit, well it, I say main character, we have got multiple points of view so we've got so far three. Chris, Vikram and Alex. Is that all we have? Let me just double check because I did, I completely forgot that there was a contents in the front. Um, yeah. Chris, Vikram and Alex. That's cool. Um, this, I thought this was a standalone to begin with, but also having looked at the back, this is not. It is the Martian Traders Saga. Apparently there's already, oh no, they're coming out. There's two novellas announced for next year and book two is penciled in for 2025, but we don't know when. I have also just texted Lisa because there's been a really, I, I would have pegged this as like, YA sci-fi just in the sense that there is no swearing it is easily written there is a little bit of sciencey talk but not anything like you know <sighs> children of time sciencey in there but we've just had a conversation well actually Chris our main character has just stumbled in on um, another character saw his butt in the air which unless he's parading around like a peacock kind of gives you a hint as to what he was doing and then they were having a conversation about the gadgets of which to make that happen in zero g what <laughs> that is not what i expected coming into um this book but yeah it's good, it's quite a fast read in the sense that it is, like like I said, easily approachable sci-fi. I am trying to finish this. Also, I have a problem. I have a really big problem. And I, I know Lisa's already told me I can't do it. Um, but I, since starting TBR Quest and talking to Madison and Andy and JR on our lives, um, I have had this really strong urge to just restart. And by restart, I read the first book. But read, finally get round to reading Robin Hobb. 
you know um i have read the first book i gave it three stars a couple of years ago i found it really slow i wasn't a fan but i've noticed since then i have matured as they say in uh, How I Met Your Mother, um, I've matured in my reading tastes and I quite like a slow book, fancy book with political things woven in and other plots to kind of like sink my teeth into. So maybe now is actually the time to read that book. Obviously not right now because right now I've got Hallie to read. I have got the Legacy Trilogy to finish. I have got... The second art of Verdi book to finish, which I'm going to be completely honest, I do not think I'm going to have that finished in time for the live show. I just don't. Um, and I also don't want to put that kind of pressure on myself to just, you know, get it read because I think that's going to make me really unhappy and really not enjoy it. I'm thinking about possibly getting the audiobook as well, if I'm honest. But, so yeah, I've got plenty of big books that I need to read. Also, bearing in mind that I'm behind on the reading schedule for Legacy, I need to read this and the third book because we're meant to be starting Chasing Graves in September. At least the last trilogy of the year is a lot thinner. Like, the books are not this big. So that is a plus. So chances are, when I eventually get to this which needs to be this month <laughs> um i will start the next book at the start of september once we've done the live show for this because the live show for this is roughly scheduled all being well um and then oh and then i've got chasing graves to get started on i have oversubscribed myself to things and i i am going to reevaluate my life a little bit <laughs> at the end of this year um because i am just feeling a bit buried it's it's my own fault and you know i've gone through reading slumps and my job has got really busy so there are legitimate reasons for why and i've been sick a couple of times this year actually there are legitimate reasons as to why i am feeling buried at the minute but I want to get better at it and I want to get better at managing that and also I need to start thinking about what series I'm going to propose to Lisa that we read for next year because we have one I can't believe it once we finish this we have one trilogy left and then we're done and then we've been doing this for like three years what what I have no idea anyways so yeah that's where we're at i'm reading this i'm actually gonna go sit downstairs i think take my massive fake stand cup and my book and maybe not even turn on the tv go and sit downstairs in silence and read because that's what i was doing up here actually but for some reason actually i know why i'm sat on a desk chair i concentrate so much better up here but i'm getting a little bit too warm so i'm gonna go downstairs uh yeah we also got a new dresser delivered today. Not looking forward to trying to get that up the stairs because it's wood, wooden. So that's going to be heavy. That's the Teams chat going off from work, even though it's after five because I said have a good holiday to everyone who's going on holiday and happy weekend. Right, I'm off. I will talk to you probably tomorrow at this point, but yes. I don't actually think I mentioned about the scoreboard last night. Did I mention about the scoreboard? So we did the scoreboard. We're currently in second, which is why I'm pulling my socks up and needing to read. I also kind of want to find some slightly smaller books that maybe I could race through to fill some more prompts. I'm, I have them on my shelves. I just need to pick them up and read them so that I can actually hit all far, all six points for my team And it's now becoming an ongoing joke because I keep saying I'm going to pull my socks up and everyone's taking the mick out of me. But it's just a phrase that I have. One of my many phrases. But yeah. I'm off to try and read as much of this as possible before Jack comes home. Because he's probably going to want to come home and do stuff. Like move the dresser upstairs, which I do not want to do. But we'll see. Bye. Hello everyone and happy Saturday. I am still 
in my pyjamas and it's lunchtime so I think today I'm gonna have a PJ day um, but I have an update I have completed the Halley Traveller by Mike Mulman not for me unfortunately which is a shame so I feel because I like to be honest but I'm not gonna be obviously like mean I feel as though the first 50% of this book I was really invested I was really interested in Chris and this almost like mafia situation that he gets himself involved in unfortunately there is a tragic ha accident that happens to his father and his dad and his father ends up dead so Chris is left by himself he's only ever lived on this ship and he has it rough he really really does but my 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 issues with this book um as i said yesterday it's approachable approachable sci-fi i still 100 percent agree with that this is definitely more of a coming of age story than necessarily focused on like sci-fi elements or anything like that obviously he lives on mars so there is sci-fi in there he lives on a spaceship but he is 17. There were two slightly uncomfortable scenes for me personally, um, which involved Chris and adult content. We all know what I mean by that, right? Uh, one was kind of funny because he's like, he walks in on another character and he just sees a butt. <laughs> um, I think I mentioned this yesterday, I can't remember. If I have, then I'll cut this out. Um, and then... But then the other scene was... He's decided that he needs to be... He needs to do the same thing. And... Ends up in a really awkward, uncomfortable position. So, yeah. Didn't didn't see the point in that. Didn't think it was needed, to be honest. Um, don't think it helped his character or anything. So I was a bit like... Mm, I don't know why that's there. He is quite a whiny character and then one of the other perspectives is kind of brought in as like chris is really like boring and straight laced and doesn't know how to have fun and then this other character is meant to be like the fun one but the thing is like they are both one is 16 and one is 17 like they are still really young and maybe it's just me maybe i am too old <laughs> for something like this maybe that's what it is but yeah, I, I finished it, I've read it, I've used it as the sci-fi prompt for TBR Quest. Um, I do not think I'll be continuing with the series, which is a shame. And yeah, but I do still want to read Mike Mulman's Becoming a Druid series. I've got the first book on audio from what I remember, because I've read part of it, I haven't, I've just never managed to finish it. It was alright, and I was enjoying what I was reading. So I'm still going to try this author again just maybe not soon <laughs> but that being said now i've read that i have now got to read books for the rest of the prompts i actually don't think i've been filling in my thing either i did put a little um list together of all the prompts actually which would be really useful to look at now no i haven't okay so i need to i need to go through and highlight this because i've now completed three prompts i've done my book read my book read i've done my group prompt which was godfrey science sci-fi prompt which is that and then what was the other one that i did oh under 200 which was demon i have done that that's there and highlighted um so i have a whole load of things i could read i still i still have not uh what was it out a book outside your usual genre so i am still reading butter i am not even 100 pages in yet but these chapters are so long and i feel like i i don't feel like this is what i need to read right now after after my sci-fi book so that being said i need to find something else 
Uh, um, so a lot of the prompts are quite easy. They're very wide and broad. Weapon on the cover, dark cover. Any indie book, I don't really know what I want to do with that. I do need to read some Spiffbo books, so I might just give those a bit of a try and see what happens with that. Um, and then, oh gosh, and then maybe pick something. I do need to read Witch Hazel as well, which I can't remember what that's about. Where have I just, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm losing. Oh. I'm, I'm literally losing the plot. Hmm. So yeah, I need to read Witch Hazel as well. Um, I don't know how many pages are in this book. I think there's like 400 odd. Um, but it's, 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 I'm gonna speed through that. I don't know if it'll show. Oh, I'm going backwards. Look, look at. <laughs> Look at the margins, like, and I can't make it any further along, so that's going to be interesting to read. Why won't you? Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do that, but if I picked Witch Hazel, that could be a dark cover, because I believe the cover is black, or it could be any indie book, because it's an indie book. Um... Or I might start Legacy, if I'm honest, Legacy of Steel, because that needs to be read sooner rather than later. And that can be any dark cover. So I'm going to stop babbling. I'm going to just, I don't know if you'll have seen my babbling. I might have cut some of it out. Um, but I'm going to go back downstairs and try and read, I think, for a bit. And just kind of enjoy a slower Saturday. And um, wait for Jack to wake up. <laughs> See you later. Hello, it's later on Saturday. It's actually half ten at night. And I thought I'd come and give you a quick update because I decided what I was going to start reading um, after the umming and ahhing clip that I probably put before this from earlier this morning. I actually decided to pick up Legacy of Steel by Matthew Ward, which is book two in the Legacy trilogy. Um, because we have the live show for this coming up and I want to make sure that I am getting ahead of the game because I do not want to be scrambling around. I think I have, I think the plan is, this goes up on Monday, I think the plan that is that the live show goes up a week after. So, the tw I want to say the 27th. If that's on Monday in August, is that day. Um, I don't think we fully announced it yet. And done like the graphic and the link and stuff but it will be on lisa's channel so i thought i will start this this weekend so i can kind of get ahead of the curve and i am now 50 pages in so i have also come here to update a different vlog um about this book and i'm hoping it does go live because i've already done the first book but i'm in the midst of filming a legacy spoiler vlog as i read these books that hopefully you'll see in September or October whenever I actually finish the series because I know that this is well, I'm pretty sure this is probably quite a popular series I would love to do something like this as well for some other popular series that I have got on my shelves that I plan to read because I would love to actually feel like I'm talking to someone about them and that's kind of why I made it spoilery as well because I was umming and ahhing about whether I'd make it spoiler free because obviously I don't want to spoil people but I also like the idea of doing spoiler filled videos as I'm actually reading otherwise it's just a case of like as I do in this this sort of vlog I'm 50 pages in I can't tell you a lot about this because it's a sequel and I can't tell you about who I've already met because that would spoil the first book and how the first book ended I don't want to do that but I do want to talk about it, so that's why I'm doing spoiler vlogs. Um, so yeah, I'm reading this. I don't know... It's got like a random line down the middle of it. Anyways, I, I'm i actually... I'm, I'm enjoying this so much more than what I finished reading today. And I'm really enjoying being kind of like back in this world. 
and yeah i'm hoping that this does not go through middle book syndrome it also is a year after the events that happen in the first book so i can say that because that's not a spoiler and that's pretty cool but yeah that's probably all i can say at the minute i do need to start witch hazel it is scheduled in for starting this week and or next week but we're going to see how we get on with this first because i would like to be cracking on with this and i'm more than happy to get to a point like where i've got like a hundred or so pages left for next weekend but i just this is a big book you know i am 50 pages in and i've been picking it up periodically all day and i think reading wise oh gosh so reading wise this is don't spoil anything 751 pages so yeah i have just over seven days to read it i'm not going to be reading 100 pages a day so i need to work on that so yeah and i don't like i don't like the narrator for this audiobook lisa loves them i'm pretty sure it is a very well-spoken lady and that's fine i just don't gel well as an english person it's quite weird but i don't actually enjoy listening to well-spoken english accents in my audiobooks especially female i don't know why but there you go there's a weird fact about me and my reading so yeah that that's where we're at um and now I'm going to update the other vlog so that I actually do keep on top of it because we, yeah otherwise I will forget and I won't do it so that is what I plan to do also I'm pretty sure that if I finish this I haven't actually updated my reading tracker for finishing Hallie yet which is a shame but I have officially I'm now bubbling I have officially finished two pages in my journal which for most people might be like they have already smashed like two three four pages but for me pretty proud of that i am very behind on the fact that i want to do 100 books um yeah i think hallie was my 49th so if i actually managed to finish this this week upcoming not this weekend it's not not gonna happen this will be like my 50th book so it'll either be this or potentially witch hazel that'll be my fifth 50th book so only 50 more books to go before I hit 100. That's not going to happen, is it, really? Um, I have readjusted my Goodreads drop goal to, I want to say, like, 75. Which is probably more probable. I'm just telling you because I haven't done a reading update like this for a while. Uh, so my reading challenge on Goodreads now, because I boosted it like i put it down is at 4 75 so i am currently two books ahead of schedule which is good going so i'm on track to read 75 books and if i can read more than that i would be so happy because last year i read it's loading 67 books and i don't think that was my best year was 2020 my best year probably because i did no 75 books in 2020 76 in 21 I'm loading 22 it's taking a minute and 68 okay so if we go up to i would if i'm gonna like smash a goal i said 100 at the start of the year but obviously that is looking very unlikely unless i read a load of short novella books i've got two that i need to read one is deathless by rob de hayes from the like trio of releases that he's done but it's not really a novella that's just like a shorter novel and then the other one is a novella and that's is it new york minute i think is an arc i've got from stephen ryan so you know there's two of them then i've got the bound folio by rob j hayes never die by rob j hayes all of which are quite small books so there's already four so like if i just like smash out a load of them maybe i'd read 100 books but at the same time i do want to be reading decent sized books too like not just novellas 
so we'll see but yeah i am ahead on my updated goodreads goal but i don't think i will achieve my 100 books goal i've put in my reading tracker but that's okay there's always next year um but yeah this could potentially be my 50th book which is crazy and then i need to read the third book but i can't start the third book until we've done the live show because i we are at a point where everything will just amalgamate together and that will not be good so there's that right let's update the other vlog which you will eventually see and um then probably go to bed see you later hello everyone and happy monday so i'm here to just wrap this vlog up um with a little quick psa about a soft dnf so i'm going to be soft dnfing when the moon hatched because i'm just i'm feeling a bit buried as i've already mentioned a couple of times in this vlog and it's not a priority read so i'm i'm gonna soft dnf it and if i maybe pick it up later in the year i maybe pick it up later in the year i might pick it up if it comes up for the goodreads challenge or um the end of year awards i should say but otherwise currently where i'm at i could take it or leave it i'm not massively invested in the story and i'm not intrigued to find out what's going to happen so I think this is the best option if I'm completely honest so that's what I'm gonna do which means we have still got a fair few books to carry on with next week this week for me next week for you watching so make sure you come back next week to see how I do but that is everything for today's vlog if you did enjoy it please give it a like I'm really sorry it's like well over an hour I feel like movie length vlogs are becoming more trendy again I just talk too much I don't do any of this beautiful b-roll or anything like that I really wish I did um but I don't really do much if I'm completely honest I'm just a, a, a homebody and maybe when I do go out and venture into the world maybe I will try and take more footage but currently that's not the thing but either way if you like long vlogs give it a like really supports me and my channel leave me a comment down below of I don't even know let me know a book that you're currently reading and if you want to just leave me an emoji leave me any blue emojis for a legacy of steel if you want to see more of me please consider subscribing down below and ringing the notification bell so you're notified every single time i upload new videos i currently don't stick to a schedule i just try to upload but otherwise <laughs> that is everything for today's video i hope you're having an amazing day and i'll see you soon in the next one Bye.